welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find that if they're good to be classy, yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Garbage. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She's upstairs with the snowplow guy. Okay. Don't ask any questions. <laughs> Keep it moving. All right. Radio's very loud up there. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He's an sure. international businessman, and he is the gummy bear bandit look out for kj kevin james ryan what up gang thanks for tuning in as Rootin always tootin'. as always please make sure you rate view subscribe on itunes full video available on youtube as you know those numbers are true to rev cooking Cookin'. closing in on 200 thou let's go there. let's go Shout out to it and obviously i ain't gonna tell nobody in this room the greatest website Woo-hoo! of all time www.patreon.com slash are you garbage it's a goddamn life changer over there gang over, oh, oh shit, it. please. Oh, please. A bajillion hours worth of content. I'm not sure, but you can check it out yourself. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What, what up, T Bone? What up, boys? How are you, bro? I'm doing great. We got a cousin Joey yeah. on here. Hey. Hey. Came across the bridge to say hello. <laughs> huh? I'm, I'm coming back. All right, I'm back. Brought a little Striadel for you, boys. A Striadel. I bought it. Nice, uh, fresh cookies over there on the table. <laughs> Gang, the long hair ain't lying because we could be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, back with us again today. He is the host of the Juggernaut Podcast. <laughs> he is a, he's a leader in the industry. The Basement Yard. Give it up for Joe Santagato, everybody. Woo! The kid's here. Look out. Joey. These are all unbelievable fucking intros, by the way. I'm just, I'm just sitting here like, I got to be better at what I'm doing. <laughs> like, this is incredible. Holy shit. Thanks for coming, buddy. Did yeah. my Minor league baseball this year worked that out a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, I came in here, I see the new setup, I'm like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> things are going pretty well over here, man. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You're killing it, man. Congratulations. Yeah, you're doing, hey, you're you're not doing too shabby yourself, there, big guy. Not too bad. It was a crazy year for for me. Uh, I feel like the both of us at the same time, <laughs> like we we like did that episode, and then after that, it was just like, oh, everything's like, yeah, we were, <laughs> that's very true. We were both like yeah. kind of middle of the road, and then whoop. yeah, crazy man, shopping for golf clubs together. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, did you get a title on this? Yeah, very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you boys are going on the road. You're hitting hitting the pike. Yes, we are. Our first show is like in three or two days, whatever the fuck it is. Like three days or something. I don't know. On Friday. That's okay. awesome. Uh, we have our first show. Um really excited about that. Uh I I like I like delayed doing like live shows for so long. Um, but now I'm like super excited for it and I get to do it with Frank. Uh, for the show, but yeah, we're fucking we're that's hyped. sick. He's your childhood friend, yeah, dude. He's... You posted a video that old almost made me cry. Did you see that? <laughs> nah. It's them two when they're like four making videos, yeah, and like doing what they do now, and then Basically. shows them selling out like a four million person theater. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is this? Instead of me and you fighting in an open oh, mic, we do... <laughs> yelling at each other over over who gets kills. This on a could sink. be us. <laughs> yeah, we we put that out because like we we were trying to. Like convert the footage because I had an old uh, camera that recorded on uh, cassette tapes. Were you that kind of? You were that? You were those kids always filming or just kind of dicking around making stuff? <sighs> yeah, we no? just like dicking around because you know, like Jackass was like popular, of so we're course. like, dude, we should fucking ball up a bunch of socks and throw them at each other's nuts. <laughs> and, like, we just would do shit like hey, that. Hey man, when it works, it works. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So we were like, we were doing that, and then you know there was some like sketches that we would do, and we just liked you know doing it, uh, and. So I, I I went to this place like I had to drive all the way out to like this place in Jersey like pretty deep in Jersey. It's the too. most New York thing. I had to drive all the way to fucking <laughs> Jersey. I had, I, had, I, had I had to take the tunnel. Thirty seven minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I think it was like forty two. I was like forty two. I was like, I'm never fucking doing this again, bro. This is just terrible. But, Such a New York thing. <laughs> Lincoln the, Tunnel was all backed up. I hate going to fucking Jersey, dude. New I, Yorkers don't like it. I hate I the George Washington Bridge. I hope falls into the. F- Water. <laughs> and the tunnel should explode and fill up with water. I hate it. All of it sucks. Uh, that's but, great. Yeah, we used to make videos when we were super young, though. We would record a bunch of shit. Um, and then, like, I don't know. Like, our friends were, who, when we were in high school, there was, like, this elective class that they took that was, like, 
you have to make a movie at the end of the year. Sure. So me and him were like, oh, we'll do it. <laughs> like, we yeah, just yeah, did yeah, everyone's yeah. projects for like three years in a row. Um, but then he went away to college and shit, and like I started doing like YouTube and stuff, and then we started doing the podcast together like three years ago, and now like Sick. we get to fucking do the thing. Yeah, it's really fucking crazy. There you go, man. Awesome. Try not to think about it. Sure. And then no, I do the same af- thing after the show. I'm gonna be like, that's nuts. Yeah. So just did that. <laughs> yeah. Like, all right, fine. Now yeah. we can celebrate. Uh, you got a new place. Mm-hmm. You got a new spot. Did you buy it? You're renting? What are you doing? No, I'm renting right now. Really? I'm still renting. Yeah, I'm. I'm I think in the next couple of years, uh, I I do want to buy like a, an investment property or something. I'm surprised you don't have four of them. I yeah, know. I know. Sharp kid like you? <laughs> he is a shark. You probably own this building. <laughs> <laughs> throw it. I'm paying. It's a shell corporation I pay every week. It's like, thanks so much for the rent checks, by the way, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. It's going up next month about 30%. Tell Tootie I said hello. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, I, I rent this place, but, and I always like bounce around like apartments too. And I think that's why I haven't really like thought about buying like anything. Uh-huh. Like, I'm thinking about like buying a house in the next like four years. Where would that be? Yeah. Wait, Burbs, obvious. Like yeah, Burbs. Yeah. Jersey? Yeah. Jer- no, 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 no. I just said in the tunnel, I'm going to blow it up. <laughs> yeah. That's what everybody says. So they move out there. <laughs> it's yeah. like. Find a nice place. It's a very Mitten. nice backyard. Yeah. It's like you can't Be over get this anywhere. In Nutley, New Jersey, <laughs> yeah. or something. Yeah. Maybe like Westchester or something. I definitely Garrison not Long isn't Island. bad. Definitely not Long Island. I don't want to go that way. You don't um, want to go out to the island. No, I don't. It's, what about the Staten Island's Island? Nice though. Staten Island is. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Jersey's got a better chance than that. <laughs> Jesus. I like Staten Island. <laughs> I've been there. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I've been there one time in my life. Yeah, it's crazy. crazy. New Yorkers just don't or go. Or twice. Twice, yeah. I think. Because, like, why, though? Like, sure. Unless you know people in Staten Island, which you don't. Because they, <laughs> they all would never be friends with those animals. <laughs> no, but they go to high school there, and then they go to the Staten Island College, whatever the fuck it's called. <laughs> the College of Staten Islanders or whatever the fuck. You're talking and about it like it's another planet. It literally is, bro. One, one way in, one way out. It's Gabagool the bridge, University. It. You got to take a boat to get there? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, I've only been I've only been a couple of times. It's been to, it's to do podcasts when Chrissy Chrissy D was over there. Oh yeah, that's right. I like it out there. Though. I like I like when you get over when you get over the bridge into because because to get to back to Philly, I would go through the city, and that's become a nightmare. Like you said, Lincoln Tunnel, Oof. the uh, the GW. So I've been I've been trying to outsmart it and go around. And go go over the Verrazano and then go through Staten Island. And when you get over there, you're like, oh, this is all right. I'll be honest with you. And you're like, I'm an hour away from home. It's I crazy. <laughs> yeah. And you just look on Google Maps and you're like, just the distance. Yeah. So it's three far miles. Away. Dude, it's brutal when you're like, you're like, I've been in the car for an hour. Like, I'll do, I'll leave Jersey over the GW. I'll get to Jersey and I'll be like, I've been in the car for an hour and I can see, like, I'm not even past, like, yeah. the Empire State Building. You're like, yet. I can like, see sucks. where I left yeah, from here. Sucks, and I've been in the car for a day. Yeah, like, what the brutal. fuck is going on? Kippy's got, he's got the quick out in case anything gets jammed I live right up in by the, the GW, right at the foot of the GW. He's yeah. gone. Yeah, I bang a right. Don't I'm call gone. him. He ain't waiting for you. Nah. He's already like, made it abundantly clear. Look out your window and see if the traffic is really Bad of right course, now, and I have, I have my car parked right facing to it, so the, <laughs> if the apocalypse hit, dude, I'm two lights and I'm out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> some Kids. gallons of water and some contact lenses. Kids gone. What's Keep the new moving. place like? Is it uh, uh without the, divulging too much? Sure. It's uh, I it's a, the best place I've ever lived in, but like it's super nice. It's right on the water in, okay. in Greenpoint, so it's got a beautiful view of Manhattan. Doorman. Doorman. Ooh. Rotating cast of doormen. Are, is that good or bad? It's bad when Christmas comes and you're like, who do I, <laughs> who do I pay for this? I'm gonna ask because you that. I, there was times where I had the card ready to give to the guy that, because there's two guys that I know when I go down there, uh-huh. right? This guy, Ryan, and the other guy who's, I honestly, I forget his name right sure. now. Sure. But, like, I That's know those problem. guys. Yeah. <laughs> there's usually, in a, I'm imagining, in a building like that, there's, there's tiers. There's the guy that runs the doormen, and then there's the... You know, the, the players. And usually a lot of times in the mailbox or, like, at the front, they'll go, like, hey, it's Jim. Like, happy holidays from the staff. Jim, Joe, Billy, Bobby, Tommy. So they didn't do that. and But, like, I, there's, a, fault. there's a yeah, there's a lot right next to uh, my building. So that's where I park my car. Okay. And those guys, like, and also this is kind of weird, but, like, obviously, so it's, a, it's like a valet mm-hmm. because you text and then they bring your car yeah. up or whatever. And in my car was a card and it had all of too. their names. Yeah. And but there was like twenty names and I'm like, what am I doing with this? Like <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing it's this. It's all like their brothers and stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> the, their whole family. The, the two guys who I see all the time grease that work them. there, those are the ones that I'm like, okay, would you, know, you grease them if you Yeah, don't what do you me? grease? I bet you you said a card. Are we talking <laughs> gift cards here? 
No, like wait, envelope. What? No, oh like, yeah, oh, I just, envelope. Okay. I just wrote like you know, thanks, happy holidays. Oh, you do? You go that yeah, far? Yeah, yeah, he's a nice that. guy. Ah, he's a sweet classy. boy. <laughs> I go cold cash in hand. Oh, you just go here. You go. I did yeah. something even try. I just did. I just said cash in an envelope. No Ooh. name or anything. Just here you go. Jesus. Not even sealed. Let, <laughs> like, get to it quick. Like you want it to track. <laughs> I, I also didn't know the protocol with this because I'm like, I feel bad essentially having a valet every day and I'm like I don't give them anything mm-hmm. like during sure. the day oh, I you can't don't. have cash on me all the time to just give people you know what I mean yeah no huh. those those guys operate in like you know, an annual or maybe like every right. now and then you hit them with something but they they operate on an annual annual tippet yeah 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 so and what'd I, you give them I gave, uh, I gotta I, I gave know. the guy at the garage 150 bucks that's good is that's that good real good because yeah. I also didn't know if that was good or that's bad good. that's good that's I would say well let me ask you this what was the face you got did he see it or just saw the card it was a card I put okay. it I didn't wanna, yeah, you're handing them like what you handed them. <laughs> that's a hundred, by the way. I literally, I gave it to him. I ran away. I was like, oh, yeah. fucking hope that's okay. I'm bad with that. Is that trashy to do? Like, if I if I leave like a, like a good credit card tip, I'll say here's forty for you. Yeah, you. Is you, that is that yeah. trashy? If you leave a good, you wait, you do a credit card tip also. No, oh, like you'll say it. Yeah, like, I'll yeah. say it to he's them. He's nuts. Is that he's, bad? Yes. That's horrible. That's I want it. him to know I'm not a scumbag. That's so. But that's he's gonna see you're it. a scumbag. But he's gonna see the receipt. Yeah, no? after I left. That's so. <laughs> tacky. What's the point of doing it? And you go, hey, there's Joe. What are you talking about? I'm face throwing here. <laughs> the best would be if you go. That's forty for you. He opens it up. It's ten. <laughs> <laughs> you like folded it up four times so he can't read. He's like, it's a, it's a big one. I feel like it's less about the waiter and more about the people you're with. Like, that's 40 from me. Uh-huh. They didn't throw in shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Which he's known to do that <laughs> no, in a group setting. No. Just, he separates himself. <laughs> no. He separates himself from the rest of the group when Do, he picks up the check. Okay. He goes, there you go. And then that's, he'll tip him cash. And then go, that's for you. Let me ask you a question. Oh. If you're at a, show. if you're at a, <laughs> if you're at like a dinner, let's say there's like four or five people, right? And everyone Love sits this. down, whatever. Is there... Like, what's the protocol there? Is it five cards? Is it two cards? We've one talked card? about this. We we have very strict rules on this. Big man, hit him. Okay. Uh, you're talking you and four of your boys. Yeah. Okay. Well, friends from high school? Like, it, that Tight? matters. Are they workers? <laughs> Are they, like, no, no, no. It's not like a professional Because it seems every time I go out to dinner, I'm picking up the fucking jack, <laughs> if I'm being honest. No, but like... The, but so, the four of us went to dinner. Like, what's the... If the we four- would pick it up because there's three of us. Yes. I'm not going to make you pay but for it. But who's picking it up? How many cards are there? No, what? I mean, we, no, we, we have, have a company yeah. card. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh, no, okay, so something not like that. Yeah, that's, like what, not that's what I'm saying. not a company card thing. It's like a Who are the four guys? Are they guys you grew up with? Yeah. Okay, so there are four guys you grew up with, your tight squad. How do they do? How do they do? Everyone that has a normal job. Can they, afford a dinner. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No well, one's Do like you hurt. do the best? Yeah. 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 He's the Prince of Patreon. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's less like like... It's less about that. I'm, I'm more so asking. No, like, it's about no, that. It's about, it, yeah, to it's, me, okay, it's about that. that. All right, but if it's like, but you, what, are you going to pick up every every check? No. No, you're not going to pick up every check. You would hope that they're strong enough dudes that, okay, you know, I, I think say you go out to dinner. Multiple times. Four times in a row. Not in a row. But, but like, like a year. Yeah, or like, yeah. hey, Joe, I have, Joe got last one, and then Steve gets the next one, yes. Bill gets that one. To me, that's the gentleman way to do it. Or right? if it's a situation where you you're doing much better than them, nah, nah, Joe, we got it. You got you got the last two. We're gonna we're gonna chip in and get this one. Okay. You're getting stuck with a check a lot, aren't you? <laughs> no, no, no. I actually, I like like because I I love restaurants and shit. Like that's where I'm willing to just be like, yeah, I got it. Like let's yeah, just go yeah. have a good time. That's and, a good attitude. Like do whatever. And I my friends actually get mad at me because like I that what what usually happens is I have two different. Friend groups where there's two different types of shit happening here, and one Lay of them, it on I, us. I, I I'll let you hate. know what's right and wrong, baby. Well, it's obvious what's fucking wrong because and we have some pamphlets out, we can give you on your way out yeah. too. <laughs> we have, this is the show. This is my therapy session. I'm like, listen, bro. This is why we started the show. Do but you like, have dirt ball friends? It's, it's literally like sometimes people would be like, oh, I'm gonna get my own check. And it's like, no, 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 you're not. No, Wait, you're not. Who says that? Sometimes people say that. Not your squad from school. No, no, <laughs> no yeah. Like kids I grew up in the neighborhood with. Man, like, oh, I gotta get, I get my own check. Or like, or like, I had, I only had that. So I'm gonna and be like, bro, if you sit down at this table, we're splitting the thing. Yeah, that's, it's chopped that's up. We're all in together. Yeah. Regardless of who's paying. Like, bro, your appetite has nothing to do with how much you're paying. To be honest, yeah. you're, like, <laughs> you're paying for the seat at the you're, table. You're so, sitting down at the chair, like you're fucking paying. Bro. Just to play devil's advocate, that might be somebody who doesn't have it and is worried that they're gonna get that, that they're gonna. 
you know, get put into an embarrassing situation. Uh, which I've been that guy a lot where I didn't have it, and everybody's like, let's order a $90 bottle of wine. And I'm yeah. like, buddy, I'm ordering fucking Bud Lights here. But, uh, but yeah. that's that's your <laughs> friend's yeah. responsibility to say, no, dude, you're not yeah, doing that. Don't yeah. worry but about also, that. But also, that's got a it. before you get there type of conversation. <laughs> you know what and I mean? And that's your point. Oh, uh, wait, they're doing this when the check comes? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, that's bad. But like, it's not because beforehand, I, if we could plan for something, I have a less of a problem with that. But like, and are they having the appetizers and stuff that everyone's sharing? They're tasting them. And sure. then all of a sudden, they're like, <laughs> I <laughs> just had the chicken. Bro, calamari doesn't show up, and you don't have nothing. You, you have a piece or <laughs> yeah, two. Yeah, that's you know what I mean? that's like, that that's a scumbag. That's move. enough for the if you eat anything, you're splitting the bill. Yes, that's, just, that's how it happens. Yes, that's so succinct. If you eat anything, you're splitting the bill. Or that's if you don't have it, we got it. You're not. You're, we're not splitting the check after the fact. Yeah, that's and you just putting your entree and your soda yeah. on there. I hate when I you had yeah. beers and you had and, and you know you, you had the uh, the burrata and the this and the that. No, we're not doing that. I also don't like like so many cards. Like no. three cards is Buddy, like crazy. Waiters, three's too many. A double date, I'll let you, a double two date. cards. You can split. Hey, sure. whatever, yeah, yeah, whatever. We got it. Yeah. So and so, or like, like, I'm fine with the. You know, I'm fine with the. I got it, and someone will go. I'll Venmo you. I go. Sure, whatever you yeah. do. It was this. If you want to do it, I'm not sending a fucking request. But if, yeah. if you want to send it, I'll take it. It is what it is. That's what I'm. I'm bad. My friends get mad at me for that shit too, because like I'll be like, I got it. Just like Venmo me. And then like I don't send requests, and you they're can't like, oh, send a request. No, you can't. Like, you can't <laughs> yeah, send like, a request. But that you know, I don't know. I don't because I don't mind like doing shit like that all the time. But that, the only thing is just like, oh, we're gonna put five cards in. I'm like, bro, we can't. No, we're gonna a, be here with this. They don't brutal. even have enough pens in this restaurant yeah. for us to <laughs> sign and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> now we're all taking turns signing shit. Yeah. The nah. Declaration of Independence. We all get a turn <laughs> to sign the fucking thing. You Come sign on. your name real big. Uh, Joe Senegal. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's also the thing too of like, then you got to do the tip. Well, I'm tipping thirty. You got twenty two dollars. You put. Let me tell you something. As a server, that was always my 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 biggest thing because you always got screwed when it was like, uh, all right, put put a hundred. Say say the bill was two hundred dollars. Put a hundred and fifty on here and fifty on the other card, oh and he's gonna he's gonna do the tip. That guy Doesn't always tip. does the tip out of fifty bucks. Yeah, yeah, that sucks, buddy. And also, That's I don't. I, I like to tip because I worked. In like a pizzeria, I worked off of tips for like years of my life, Love so I tip. usually tip like very well. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. But like, if I go out on a double date or something, and it's like I know I'm about to tip something stupid. Sure. So and then like, how much did you tip? And I'm like, I don't want to say now. Like in <laughs> yeah, front of like a group, you go, I gave, you, like, I gave him thirty. All bucks. of a sudden, you're leaving yeah. with the two broads. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, you can take the leftovers. Like, I'm dipping a hundred. <laughs> Take it easy. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. Mm-hmm. Calling all you nut jobs out Wackos. there. Wackos. Actually, you know what? Not even. It's normalized, man. It's n- not even that it's normalized, but, uh, b- b- but, but this adds about relationships, about how tough it is in relationships. Sure. Relationships aren't easy. And when you have talk therapy and you can talk something out, you get to work on yourself, and you get to work on your relationship. You also get a different perspective. Someone going, "Ah, you might have been an asshole there, or maybe sure. he or she was doing it." You just get a different, a different eye line without clouded your clouded emotions. And we joke around a lot here on the pod, but I'll tell you what, BetterHelp has helped me out. Just the simple, like you think that you got to go all in, you got to go to an office, you got to sit there, you got to tell them insurance your insurance information, story. all these paperwork. It better, better help. It's almost like reaching out to a friend, but it's a licensed therapist. Yeah, uh, it's easy to get started. Just fill out a quick questionnaire, get matched with a licensed therapist. You can do therapy by video call, by message, or even over the phone, whatever works for you. So here's the turkey. Become your own soulmate, baby. There you go. Whether you're looking for one or not, visit BetterHelp.com slash Garbage Day, and you get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Garbage. Do it, gang. Do it. Okay, but let's talk about Sheath. Shout out to Sheath, an OG sponsor. I'm talking about Sheath underwear, mm-hmm. OG from Jump Street. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Best underwear in the biz. Yes, sir. You know why? Why? Because it separates the nutsack from the wiener dog. <laughs> so it doesn't get all hot and sweaty down there. Yeah. Iraqi war veteran invented them. I know. He's huh? a good dude. I know him Solid personally. Solid guy. Shout out to fucking Robbie, baby. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if you're not familiar, it's a pocket for your for your ball sack, a pocket for your wiener. You can put both in one. You can swip swap. You can leave one at the house, whatever you want to do. Whatever you're into. Uh, give it a shot. It's the best underwear you'll ever put on. Comfy. It's, it's the first article of clothing specifically underwear but any of clothing i put on it was like whoa yeah this is 
way this is a superior product feel sexy then, yeah you feel you feel tight you feel like you, you feel mm-hmm. like you're in shape mm-hmm. it makes you feel sexy and in shape when you're not and trust me ladies we're not i'm not <laughs> uh go to she's underwear.com use the code garbage you get 20 percent off your first order plus she's underwear is a one has a 100 percent money back guarantee that she's underwear.com promo code garbage get she's underwear support the show and support your balls do it I have a, a question kind of in this vein I was thinking about earlier today that I wanted to ask you. Have you ever had a place like a bodega, bagel shop, where you would walk in and have a usual order? You'd walk in, they go, oh, Joey, and they knew exactly what you wanted. Bacon, egg, and cheese this or something? This is the worst show to, to like say this, but when I was under, I think I, maybe I was 20 or 21 or something, the only place, it's not food, but the only place this has ever happened is there was a bodega where we would buy beer from all yeah. the time. So every time we walked in there, he would say, oh, special for the special, and then overcharge me for, like, beers. Because I was knew you were, Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, that's the only time. If we were going in there, and especially at night, he would just be like, oh, he would just start walking to the back to go get, like, a fucking case of, like, tall boys or some shit. Uh, Respect the move. Like, oh, 60 bucks. And we're like, yeah. oh, you're too kind to me. That's 100 for you. A he, little, he keeps a li- saying it's, like, special, and it's, like, the price keeps going up, and I'm like, I feel like we're not saving money. <laughs> a little hush money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, hey, I damn. Yeah. I'm with that though. Yeah. Yeah. The thing with the restaurant though, that's um. Yeah, you can't have you, you can't have somebody doing that. I and, also. Oh, sorry. And if it's again, if it's the thing of like where they don't have it, it's like, dude, we're not doing that. We yeah. got it. I'm. I, I'm a fat guy too, and I've I always I <laughs> what, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. That's just in. He like piggybacked <laughs> off of you with something you didn't <laughs> say. Yeah. I'm also a fat. Also piece of shit. Oh yeah, what the hell <laughs> was that, man? No, 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 that wasn't. It wasn't in connection. <laughs> Christ. I'm also a fat guy with Sick a bad disposition. Sick to my stomach. I'm on this so zempy. You got me. You got me doing the gymnastics and stuff. Hey, you hit me with no, an insult. I was. I wasn't. I wasn't pinning that comment to you. I was saying, <laughs> in addition to that, I, me being a fat guy for most of my life and also poor for a very long time, I always got crazy anxiety when I would be in those situations. The worst anxiety of like, ever. Fuck, man. And they start yelling out stuff, and I'm going, I can't. I know I can't swing that. You guys are you're going, crunching we're gonna the numbers. Do the, we're going to do the oysters. I'm like, fuck. I think that's okay, too, because like if, if in those situations, like people are start ordering and getting crazy, if it's me, I'd be like, I'm not fucking doing sure, that. Yeah. You know, like, chill. And mm-hmm. also, within fucking reason. Like, I, I've been out to dinner with someone who has just an unlimited amount of money, basically. Uh-huh. And I want to be, and like this dude takes care of me sometimes with, with certain things. So I was like, I, I want to take you out. Yeah, I got and you. And do whatever. So we went to uh, Coat, the steakhouse in yeah. the city. Expensive place. Very expensive. <laughs> and at one point, he just holds up the menu. And this is where I'm paying, right? He holds up the menu and he goes, We'll do that. Yeah, see, so you can't do that. And he went that. like this. Yeah. And I was like, who orders he gave a finger you, he, dash of food? He gave like, you a direction. We'll do it here <laughs> south. Fuck. Yeah, like, everything from this, his, this, and yeah, this. From the neck down, we'll take all the meat you have. And then this, the somebody comes over, and he, he he's talking to him. And then he's like, yeah, we'll do that. I literally texted him. And I was like, how much was the bottle you just Jesus. got? But he was like, no, it wasn't bad. It was like. 60 bucks or something. I was like, okay. Because like, I was thinking he's got like a $1,000 bottle or something. Yeah. But is that, okay, so is that, is that a situation where you said, hey, I want to take you out tonight? Yeah. Because you take me out all the time. Yeah, I wanted to like return the So thing. those sure. guys, which you're, it sounds like you're slowly turning into, <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're becoming that guy as far as the pecking order. Not that you're doing what he's doing, but you're becoming that guy. When, when, when they get that, you know, they, they, want, they want to go all out a little bit. But that's just like, uh, that's like the same as the bodega guy. Yeah. Whacking you out a little bit. Yeah, yeah That's a yeah. one-time thing. The other thing you were saying, when people start going crazy, I have the luxury of not having the best social life, so I don't have like fringe. You don't say. I don't. I don't have. <laughs> I, I don't have situations where it's me, you, and Toby. What are you talking? About? I mean, yeah. I would assume that sometimes you're going out to dinner with like nine guys. Some of them are your boys, maybe a couple of their girlfriends, and then there's like some fringe people that you don't really know, or right. whatever. In that situation, when some bozo at the end of the table that you don't know but knows you do well, think, oh, Joe's going to get it, and he starts doing that. Then you got to put a little bit of a kibosh on it. But yeah. I never really go out to eat with people that I wouldn't, like, you know, go to war with. I'm a loser yeah. by design. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I eat with a tight circle. <laughs> so when that happens, it's every you know everybody. We're, we're all eating and enjoy yourself. What, however, it shakes out, it shakes out. I would ne- like I I don't know how I would react in the moment, but the idea of going out to dinner with like a large group and someone at the end of the table who I don't really know is like, oh, let's get this three hundred dollar bottle of wine. I'd be like. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, not happening. What the fuck are you talking Usually about? Usually you know, that's like, not the guy that's going to be picking up the check or that's going to he he doesn't have it like that. Yeah, you better be wearing like some wild jewelry in order for me to like be like, "All right, fine. All right you it's, got it." Looks yeah, like yeah, he's yeah. going to pay for that. So uh, <laughs> But if you're up there in just like a regular t-shirt, I'm going to be like, "Hold on, we should we should talk about His stuff first. Jewelry. Does yeah. that does that necklace spin? <laughs> <laughs> are you in G unit by any chance? I, and I got to be honest, you see those videos every once in a while that pop up like, you know, uh, a girl out for her birthday or something like yeah. that, and they put it all on the boyfriend and then the girls get mad when the boyfriend doesn't pay. Yeah. Uh, those type of dinners which i haven't had one of those since i was probably in my like late 20s early 30s and i was a baroque at the time mm-hmm. those gave me such anxiety yeah I, I hated just the situation of it i hate it i felt bad for the waiter i just the whole thing sucked yeah i mean i i'm definitely not like i i i, I am i hate not hate but like in restaurants i'm very like i don't i, I won't send food back Never. Like, I'm never gonna like. Will you do ask any for a table shit. change, gentlemen? Ne- Dude, never. If they put I me just... in the bathroom, I'm eating in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm That's right just there with it. You. And I say this on, on on the show all the time, where I'm like, if I ordered a burger and they bring me a salad, I'm eating salad. That yeah, night. really. I'm gonna say thank you. <laughs> and eat it because, like, I, I just I don't know. I feel I mean that's a, probably an extreme example, but no, like, like for sure I'm I'm I get the sentiment of it, yeah. But like I I I'm not there to cause a problem or like I need a different table or I need to whatever. Like we just got unlucky tonight. Like we're by the <laughs> kitchen. I don't know what to tell you. Like, Let me ask you this. Okay, an honest mistake is an honest mistake. But what if the server has kind of an attitude? Oh man. I don't know that I've I've really experienced that too. It's much. kind of crazy because every server has an attitude with Foley for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Just He's really been bumping heads with truth, the servers. Truth be told, <laughs> all right, you know what I mean. Um, I am starting to get a little. Uh, it's your squirrely as, older. No, squirrely. As 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 T Bone has said, as dubbed it, it's your Ozempi Tempe. He's on the <laughs> Ozempics. He's not eating what he's used to, and he's furious about it. Oh my yeah. god! And so then when it's like, did you ever see like those people getting fights at fucking uh, McDonald's and shit? It's like because they they're like addicted to it, and it's not coming <laughs> out. It's cold. So imagine going to your dealer's house. He's just dangling a bag in front of you, and you're like, yeah, fucking. Fuck. So you get all feisty when they bring you the wrong thing. Listen, that kid at the Wendy's drive-thru had it coming. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Dragged him through no. the fucking window. <laughs> the fucking it. I ordered a medium fry. You know, never like, this is ridiculous. No, I talk no. to the man. Just kind of an, uh, normally what you're saying, no matter what they brought, I'm eating it. Yeah. It would take a lot for me to sure. say anything unless they were a dick. Yeah. Because I been a, was a server for so long. You know what I mean? Like, you know when someone's being a dick. Yeah. And it's like. Yeah, I just uh, a little. I'm I'm more of like bad I'll, attitude. I'll probably say something if it's happening to someone I'm with. Like if it happens to someone I'm with that. that yeah, I, why don't that you stick up like, for me? Yeah, you got me sitting there like an idiot. You were rude. <laughs> I asked for my rude. table to be changed, <laughs> <laughs> sir. I'm not with him. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. And if also, they're rude to somebody, at the, of course. Are yeah. You, are you like a jokey guy when the check comes? No, what do you mean? Like, oh, well, my fucking dad is like, oh, wow, real dads, dads are like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. If my dad, like, fifty percent of the time that he gets a check, he's like, whoa, break a fucking window in here too. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty like, good one. That's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's what he would say that window. all the time. They he's take like, the checkbook. I didn't order this. <laughs> huh? Am I right? No, yeah. yeah, that's dad. That's dad stuff. And he's he can't see the fucking thing too. I don't think that he can go to a restaurant honestly because they will hand him a check and he'd be like. Can't even fucking see. I it. can't. It's too I dark can't, in here. Where's I, the fucking lights? I can't see it anymore either. Really? Yeah, you gotta no, take I, the phone out. You're not. You're not flashing take, the phone. Dude. I don't do the the flashlight up, but I. I if it's <laughs> if it's dimly lit, you, you hover it over the. Yeah, I hover it over. <laughs> That's amazing. I, I feel like see it. that happened the other night. It makes me feel cool when that happens. I feel like I'm like going over a document. Like I have like a light. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? I'm like, hey, what's that? Yeah. It's like a blue light. And you're like <laughs> trying to find a fucking. <laughs> the other night we were at a place where uh where we get. You know, we we get we get free drinks or discounted drinks or whatever it is, and they handed me a check and it was like four dollars, and I left the twenty. Yeah. And but then I couldn't see the thing, but I did make sure that I wrote the tip in first, and I said, "Well, what is that? Is that a six or a nine there?" 
And she's like, oh, it's a six. I'm like, there you go. And that's 20 for you. Okay. And, and there you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's another thing, too. Like, when you get hooked up at certain places, it's like, now I got to tip a lot. You got to. Yeah. You almost, like, don't save money in those situations. No, no I like, lose money. I'm yeah. also now, I've, I, I've, I've been... So I've had a tip not so great for a very long time when I didn't have the money. I was always give you something. Like, even if it's a dollar, if I'm just ordering a beer at, like, a pub, it's like, all right, I'll give you a dollar a drink, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, what take, a- the, take these buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Those are good buttons. <laughs> That's half a cigarette for you. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's a pretty good pour. Good job, dude, bud. It's a fist bump. Couldn't finish the rest of this pork job. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's all you, big dog. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> keep them coming and keep them cold. <laughs> uh, oh man! Now I now like you know we we perform you know in a lot of clubs and stuff and if I'm getting a drink they don't you know they don't charge us so I'm like and I I, I to pay back to what I was doing it's usually a a, a twenty mm-hmm. like per I'm like all right here you go that's for you that's for per drink oh Not per- per, I'm only doing one or th- you know yeah the f- I know if I go into a place and I hit them a twenty I get a couple you know. They're like, oh, do you want to not? Like, then they're giving them to you type Yeah. Thing, you know? Okay. Try to create a little fucking, a little bit of buzz, you know what I mean? <laughs> Get the people talking. It's like, oh, the guy's dishing out money over there. You better, like, hook them up. <laughs> Have any of you guys been to a restaurant that had you try and sit at shared tables with strangers? Are you nuts? Yeah, some, I mean, New York does that for, for sure. I don't love it. <laughs> Are you nuts? Yeah, you, what? <laughs> that place in Chinatown tried to do that. I was like, I'm out of here. I, I, I USA. You start <laughs> chanting USA. Dude, I couldn't do it. Also, when... They have tables that are basically shared because you're They're on top. My if they fucking have to, elbows are dude, touching you. If yeah. they have to move the table for you to get to your seat, what are we? What we're a, living like what rats. What are we doing? We're living like Too rats. Many tables in here. I'll wait. I'll wait twenty minutes. It's I don't like want to. Yeah. A can of sardines in here, and I don't even like because I don't like talking and knowing the dude's right here. Like I'm the shit I'm saying is this guy's here at all. Yeah, dude. Yeah. My wife so will it be makes like, me feel weird. I will be sitting too. We'll be sitting in like a fucking Italian restaurant, like six yeah. people lined up, and she'll be like. So you guys, you, when do you want to start having kids? I'm like, shut the fuck up! <laughs> not, we're not doing this here. Like. We we whisper at restaurants. Oh, so. I'm a, I'm I'm like that too. Me and my whisper. Wife, we just text each other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Hand that. over the mouth. What are you gonna get? Are you gonna get something good? I do like when it's like if you have a bigger group, usually you get a table that's kind a of base, like away. Yeah. And like that, I like that because then you could just it's more of like a hangout situation. But when you're in like a quiet restaurant and it's like just you and someone else. And there's a fucking table right it's there. It's like, well, brutal. I'm not talking tonight then. Yeah. We'll do sign language because I can't, I don't like feeling like people are listening or something. <laughs> well, I, once I hate, they stop talking and they're eating, I'm like, they're listening. I hate the people, uh, and this is this is a bit of a me Everyone. thing. Everyone? <laughs> this is a bit of a me thing. I'll let thing, I'll, I'll let external things ruin my my dining experience. <laughs> but the guy at the table. Who's causing a scene? Who, who's talking to the person that he's with, but. Also, like a little bit For open everyone, to the restaurant, yeah. like I'll be talking, and I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I go over there and I like he's so that's he's making eye contact with you, yeah, 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 like t- talking to be heard. It's like, dude, shut I up. I hate that. Oh, also, like you're on the train or something, you're just <laughs> on the phone loudly. It's Crazy. Like, one, how's your phone working? And two, what the like, shut the fuck up. Yeah. Like you're not like whisper or be like, I'll call you back. Like, you know, <laughs> this turned into four old guys real quick. <laughs> I like it. Are these kids this is dancing? not how I grew up. You know, it's, that's just me, though. It's this generation, I tell this you. This kid's dancing on the subway. $4 for gummy bears? What are we, nuts? $4 for gummy bears? Uh, yeah. In this vein Dude. a little bit, uh, do you have a favorite casual dining restaurant? An Applebee's, a Friday's, a Pizzeria Uno? Like, what's the... And what would be a treat growing up that, you're, that, that the fam would take you to? Like, maybe on a Friday or Thursday. Not going anywhere. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have a treat. It was just my dude. I used, I was talking about this the other day. My we're mom. Not going anywhere. Yeah, we. No one's like, oh, we're all going out to a restaurant. That happened like graduations and like Christmas really? Eve. That was really, really, like, yeah, Christmas and Eve. Christmas Eve. Christmas Christmas Eve. We used to go to this restaurant in the city all the time. My dad's friend like owned it. That uh, that makes sense. That's, yeah. uh, I'll give you that. That's that, that's nice. Italian. Uh, Yes. Probably nice. Mandarin, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yes. It is at Applebee's. Uh, he owns one of the chains. Uh, but, yeah. Um, no, yeah. We never went anywhere. But also for, like, graduation shit, you just go to a diner. A diner? A diner. A diner. A Neptune Dude, diner. If you're eating eggs in a suit, that's yeah. no good. <laughs> pancakes. Fat pancakes, too. Neptune <laughs> diner's all right. 
Yeah. Uh, their lobster bisque used to be but amazing. But for a celebration? That's crazy. It is city crazy. kids. That's, yeah, how, that's man, how they do it. That. Like a New York City pigeon, dude. Who does that? <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Literally. That's it's nuts. like right next to the train, there's birds shitting all over the <laughs> yeah. sign. And it's like, yeah, here we're going. Got a little mince on the way out. That oh. was a little delicacy. Love the Neptune Diner. Yeah, it was good. I and the get, Bel Air, not too shabby. They're shutting either. it down, you know. They're Which one? Neptune. Really? Yeah. Man. There's like four left. Yeah. In I, the city. Yeah, there's like four good diners. Which, so as a comedian that. in New York City, that was our, that was our homeless shelter. Yeah. It was it was our living like, room. Yeah, you would be with a group of five or six people, and it'd be like someone's like. I can afford mozzarella sticks. And you're like, we'll just go hang out here yeah, at the diner. and yeah. bother them for seven hours because yeah. it's raining. Sip coffee. Yeah. Um, as far as a go-to for one of those restaurants, like, I don't, I don't know. I haven't been in an Applebee's in a long time. But the last time that I went, uh, we went because, like, I, we, I was sitting around with, like, my brother and sister. And they were like, let's go get Dollaritas. Oh, I love <laughs> it. And I was like. I love it. <laughs> All right, fine. Dude, we go to Applebee's. Blackout for nine bucks. Talk Dude. about a gold mine of an idea. Listen to this, though. We go to Applebee's, and we're sitting down, and the guy comes over. He's like, oh, what can I get you? And we're like, we want to do the Dollaritas and, like, you know, whatever. And he's like, you don't want to do the Dollaritas. That's what he said. What? So we didn't end up getting him because he's like, he's like, you don't want to do it. What? What was this? He... I didn't ask him. They're probably Man, you shitting were... in the <laughs> fucking Dollaritas, though. You really won't push back at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, you... I want the chicken fingers. No, you don't. All right, I'll just take the chicken. Oh, please. my. Dude, Thank I, you, sir. I went to a nice, I went to Teresi. Nice restaurant. Okay. The fucking waiter absolutely just cucked me. <laughs> like, when it came to dessert, he's like, you guys got to get this for dessert. I'm like, oh, yeah. I was like, yo, I, I was like, that sounds really good. Can I just see the menu? Wouldn't even give get it to you? you? <laughs> no, no. At a certain uh, point, I was like, see, I don't all right, that, fine, would, that would bother me. I don't like that. And, no, it drove me nuts, but <laughs> fucking dessert. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that I was guy like, knew what he was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, that guy, leg. thank God. He's lucky that fucking worked out that way because I would have been pissed off if it was okay. Sure. But it was like Mango the best. Mango sorbet, that's what you bring me? Dude, it was great. It was Bro, like, this kid eats nice, yeah. dude. <laughs> He likes it. <laughs> What's the name of it? Oh, my. You, I, I, I don't know. That. What These was the are, name of it? Teresi. They do a credit check at the front door. <laughs> <laughs> let, me get a, let me get a quick rundown of the maps. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hang on. What's sec, what second? And maybe in? prices if they're listed. Yeah, It's yeah. a pricey joint. It's, How do, you, do you have a guy that gets your reservations, or are you doing it? Uh... Do you have any no, ins? I, yeah, I, do you, any con, any any? Yeah, can, yeah, you, yeah. can you get on the jumbotron at MSG? <laughs> <laughs> hey, can you get me on? Can we go together? I do have a friend that that works in the restaurant industry, and he's he was the one that I was talking about before. So gotcha. like, for reservations for like good restaurants and stuff like that, one he got me gotcha. because like that's a that's a difficult restaurant to get into. I don't like to do that. I haven't done it in a while with him, but like I'll like. If I want to go somewhere, I'd be like, hey, can you, yeah. whatever. And he's like, yeah, sure. And Do you just, tend to lean nice. towards, like, hip? Like, are you like a Carbones guy? Carbones? Um, you put an S on it? <laughs> Carbone. <laughs> Isn't it Carbones? Carbones. Carbone. It's, it's also, I realized I'm so, I have, a, I have a cool friend who lives in New York. Like, he's, like, very restaurant. And I'm just. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> he yells at waiters all the time. <laughs> I'm just very not that guy. Like, we're just not those. Do we find a, a decent, nice place that we like from time to time, whatever? <laughs> I remember the one time I felt so cool. I'm like, you got to check this place out. He goes, that opened nine years ago. Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> it's brand I new. I, I thought I was giving Nobody this, knows like, about yeah, it. It's yeah. called Smith and Lewinsky. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I got you on some apps here. Hit me. Cucumbers. We're not splitting these, by the way. <laughs> cucumbers. Cucumber, cucumber salad, right? Yeah, New New York, you say? Uh, 19 bucks for cucumbers. Doing all right. It's, all right. It's like this much, too. <laughs> it's not much, yeah. It's good, though. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sound like a real dickhead trying to read these. Charred, <laughs> Part of the fun. Charred clam bull. <laughs> How do you spell it? It's an it? Italian joint. <laughs> B- B- Chard gobble ghoul. <laughs> B O U L E. Ah, stumped the crew. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I'd have to look at it. Uh, I'd have to look I'd at have to get eyes in front we, of it. Why don't we get a plate of it over here and we'll figure, we'll get to the bottom of it. I got to look at it. In order to... <laughs> I got to get some eyes on this thing. I yeah. can taste it. Blind taste test. I can tell you what it is. Italian and American hams with Zeppoli. Real nice. Nice. Sliced boar's head on rye. Boar's head. Chopped liver with manischewitz. No. This is crazy. <laughs> chopped, did, did you, you have any chopped no. liver with manischewitz? I don't think this is the right place. Manischewitz is a Jewish wine. There's like a tortellini on there. That's like the thing you're supposed to get. It's apparently is really good. Uh, not seeing any tortellini, but I got some tortellini. Tortellini. <laughs> tortellini. <laughs> you're talking about, you're talking about Irene tortellini. <laughs> T-bone sounds a little tortellini. She just had himself. another kid. <laughs> Irene tortellini, dude. Really popping them yeah. out. Man, T-Bone. The, the tortellini pomodoro. Yeah, I think that's it. 
Yeah. You what's that What's a pasta dish going for? About thirty bucks. I don't Ooh, even, I mean, New York, made. New York, yeah. hoity toity. That ain't horrible. Yeah, it's it's, it's a. Uh, it's like similar to like Carbone prices. So okay. Yeah. Have you been to Carbone? Yeah. Good. He's a cool yeah, guy. Yeah, he's a cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I really like restaurants. So, and I have two friends that they they do well also, and and they one of them is like very he like he's the one who books all of them. So like. A lot of these restaurants, you have to like wait until like 9 a.m. on a Tuesday, and then they That's drop the nuts, reservations yeah. for the next month. So he's all over that. So we we try to like you know do like nice restaurants that are like either new or whatever. Something, like, yeah. That's great. Yeah, I like I like going to places like that, like trying new shit. Like I if you go to a place it. and it's like a nice, like if it has like a Michelin star or something, and there's something on, on a menu that I've never had before, I'm like, oh, let's get that. Like fuck it. And this was not the case growing up, from what you were <laughs> absolutely going not. to diner for his wedding or something. He <laughs> said. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> it was yeah. at the Neptune Diner. Something we've been asking people lately, which we think is a really good tell. When was the first time you had Nutella? Dude, uh, <laughs> two weeks ago. It was ago. at Carbo. <laughs> Literally, maybe I was like twenty five, four, yeah. twenty five. Yeah, awesome. uh-huh. Like I also, I, I and about- that's an Italian kid in the city. That's that's pretty bad. Okay, let's talk about Blue Chew. Shout out to Blue Chisel. Let's talk about Blue Chew. Talking about throwing a little gas on the fire. You know what I mean? Ah, Gang, do yourself a favor. It's 2024, baby. Don't be shy. Mm -mm. You need a little help in the boudoir? Yeah. Get Blue Chew. Mm -hmm. Pop one in, chewable. Same ingredients as Cialis. Look out. She won't know what hit her. Uh, They come in these uh, chewable tablets. Just pop one 30 to 60 minutes before getting down and dirty. And you should know by then (laughs) that, you know, Hey, I see, you know, I have troops amassed to line the border. This is it was about to happen. That's right after the entree right before you order dessert. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can take it anytime, and it's uh, it's easy to get a prescription. Just sign up at BlueChew.com, talk to one of their licensed medical providers, providers, and you'll get a prescription within days, there you baby. Go. Blue Chew wants you to have better sex, and with Blue Chew, you will. Yeah. Discover your options at BlueChew.com. Chew it and do it, baby. Uh, and the good folks over at Blue Chew, we have a special right now for all you garbage listeners. You can try Blue Chew for free when you press in the code garbage at checkout. There you go. Just five bucks for shipping. That's only five bu- five bucks for hard-ons. What are we doing here? That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, that's bluechew.com, promo code garbage. That's a boner. <laughs> that's less than a cup of coffee. You're getting laid. Uh, it's bluechew.com, promo code garbage, to receive your first month for free. Visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the pod. Now back to the show. Back to the show. Dude, I didn't even know what avocado was until I was like at least 19 years old. I'm serious. I didn't have it till mid 20s, and I was still unsure about it. I was like, it. "What is this shit? Like yeah. avocado?" And it came out of nowhere. Avocado toast, like that shit. 28, started, maybe yeah, I had that for the first time. Booming. Like, I remember crazy. the first time I found feta cheese. <laughs> Good night. It was a fuck. Dude, it became a line item on my monthly expenses the second I found it. I was putting that shit in everything. So good, man. <laughs> I love feta yeah. cheese. Though. Yeah, it's dude. the best. So when it's in my fridge, I'll just like pop open the little container and take a crumble and uh-huh. start my day with some feta. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I'll just put it in like a zin. Just yeah, right in your <laughs> Just let, it, just let it melt throughout the day. I'm doing a six milligrams of fucking <laughs> of feta over here. Yeah. Jump on the computer and get to work. Oh, that's great. All right, so no Nutella. Okay, uh, and these are these are some. Um, uh, when you put when when do you put your deodorant on? You put the shirt on, then deodorant, or deodorant then shirt? And what are you banging with? Dude, you guys are gonna love this. You're rolling your no deodorant. Don't wear deodorant. Whoa, I don't I think smell. I might have remembered that. Now. I don't smell. Yeah. Whoa. It's crazy. Like I like there definitely is a smell sometimes. Okay. Well, he really, he <laughs> no, really no, no. caved on that fact. <laughs> I don't smell no. at all except most of the time. It's all that fed of cheese. <laughs> yeah, that shit's coming out of you. Yeah. But like like it's like not like it's not enough to like when I wake up in the morning or the end of the day, like I just don't like nothing comes okay. out. Okay. When are you showering? You showering at night or in the morning? Um I kind of What's like the routine? It it really depends. Mostly in the morning because like that's the only time that I really like work out is in the morning. I can't work out in the afternoon. Ever. Is that your workout routine? You get up in the morning and, and you go to the gym. Yeah, you hit the gym in the in the apartment. Yeah, kid keeps it nice. tight. Yeah, <laughs> but like, I, and then you have I'm to shower after you. that. Yeah. <laughs> you got a lot of money. You take me to the diner. <laughs> that's, that's a sharp fade. You could open a letter on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's cutting the hair? Let me get it with you. Rich the barber. Rich he's in. The... He's in. Uh, what is that? Fucking. Uh, Jackson Heights. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What are you tipping him? What's that cost him? What are you tipping him? Uh, 
<laughs> going after Jackson Heights to get your hair cut? He also has a place in Brooklyn, too. But I, I started going Does to him when I was Does he come to you at all? Ever? No, no, no. Those are like, if you're going to do like a house call, it's like crazy. Okay. But like, uh, he, I started going to him like years ago, but I was still living in Queens at the time. So it wasn't that far. It was like 10 minutes from where I okay. was. Um, but then he also has a place in Williamsburg. But he only he's only there on Tuesday, so I try to line up all my fucking you know all uh, high crisp with Tuesday, with Tuesdays. <laughs> but sometimes I can't, so I have to go to fucking Queens. Man, um, your kids love their haircuts. Yeah, they <laughs> really love their. What's fades. the rotation? How many? How you go many? once a week? No, 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 no. Uh, I every two weeks. There's no way you're going longer than that. N- uh, sometimes, like really? I, I, I like it's probably around two weeks. Okay, that I, hmm. that I do it or like you know I'll go months. Yeah. Without getting my hair cut, months. <sighs> You got a long hair, yeah. I like, went. You can't. You can't have that haircut and go. Much I've had that. that haircut and just. I just deal with it. <laughs> just let it grow. Just in. Just let it go. Yeah. I I went. And it to... turns into the no haircut haircut. That's a tough look. <laughs> <laughs> just starts growing. Like you know what I mean. Bad. I I went to his house like during the pandemic once, and he no, cut shit, my breaking hair the rules. outside. Yeah. I went to his house and he had like. A shield mask, and like oh, I had to wear a mask, and we were outside and, and just in his driveway, and he cut my hair. It's awesome. This is like not in like the very beginning of it. Like I definitely like just buzzed my head at mm-hmm. some point. And sure. Whatever. Hmm. Um, okay. Hold on. So no deodorant. What what other are we doing? Moisturizer? Are we doing anything like that? I am doing moisturizer. Uh, a vino. Do a vino. That's I it. Um, but I I literally was just talking about this. On, on the basement yard about like I was like I need like a fucking routine you do you know what I mean you like, need a routine and I was saying I was like you know white people we age like a sidewalk it's like tough, eventually yeah. it's like <laughs> you start cracking and there's like all this stupid shit it's and it's bad like, man it's, it's not good right. it's like overnight you're but like it, I look pretty good and like, woof. And you're when like, I so fuck I'm 49 years old now like, <laughs> what's know, going on crazy but then I but then uh I was talking enough shit about it that a company reached out to me and we're like oh we'll send you some stuff it's the I forget the name of it, but it's like a French. It's like like okay. Oh, uh, La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay. I pulled that because I was at Tommy Pope Damn. last night, and it was above the thing, and I read it. Take God that, damn. Tortorini. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow! Yeah, that's crazy. this guy. <laughs> yeah, when I saw you, I think it was in San Francisco. <laughs> we were getting ready for the show. We we're like showering and doing all that stuff at Who, the Airbnb. Me? Yeah, he comes walking down with the with, with the with the gummies on his with eye. the iPad. Oh. I was like, I'll what? Do from time to time, but I do listen I, between. What the does that do? <laughs> what? I don't know what they it makes do. Makes me feel nice. They, <laughs> it does Emotion- some- emotionally, it helps a lot. <laughs> I still look like I got punched in both eyes. <laughs> yeah, I do the under eye cream. I do the 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 oils, the masks, the, all that stuff. The um, exfoliators. Yeah, I got to start doing that. that sounds like a sports team. <laughs> <laughs> the Houston next, exfoliators. Next up for the exfoliators. I lost the championship. <laughs> Uh, Tommy Pope looks like he's got it going on though. Like he's been, Tommy he's Pope, been yeah. putting it together yes. for a while. Uh, he runs a tight ship. Yeah, he runs yeah, a tight he, he runs a tight uh, self care ship. <laughs> yeah, over it there. looks like he does. Yeah. Um okay, one more to uh say you're getting into a regular shower, right? Yeah. It's like a bathtub shower. Like it's like a tub and the shower heads on the one no, side. No, it's just a shower. But I'm like just saying a... like you say you're at a hotel and that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. Okay. Will you get in at the back or will you get in the head the side the water's coming God, out? That's such a good question, man. I think I get in the front, like where the spout is. Are. Yeah. Whoa. Nice. You Wait. just jump into the water like oh, that? Oh no, no. I've r- let it run. You let it run, and then where do you get in? Oh, you I s- get in in the in the water. I think. Get really? in the front. You. you the, the, this is such a good question. I'm you get in the back. I got news for you. It's you only me it, and you, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's We've you asked and this me. question to like fifty people. Everybody else gets in the you back. You get in the back and then step. You and turn the water on. Close the curtain or what? The door. Turn the water on. The water's running. You put your hand in there. Get it to temp. And then you go to that, the back and <laughs> enter the water. I that that might be true. I do like to this walk into the water. You know, but I, I could never articulate. I think I, I think I this just guy's going in like a middle line. You just get I, it I in the front. Ah! Yeah, literally. Yeah. I, I could never articulate in. it until now for some reason. But I think the reason that I do do that is because when I was a kid. Everybody had anxiety, and getting burned no by the way. water was a big thing. You're going to get scalded by the water. So when you get in the front, you have access to make a quick move if it's scalded or not. That's that's a good point. Also, I'm used to being scalded. I, I there's photos of us being children. We're all in the tub, and then like we stand up, and half our bodies are just beat red. <laughs> beat red. <laughs> the was cooking us. Nobody dude. was taking temps back. We're in like, the whoa, night. it's hot. Just like, shut the fuck up. She's dude. dropping in onions and carrots like that's funny. <laughs> Got a ladle and she's like, "Shut up!" Like your Bugs Bunny. You better not tell your father. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Huh. Uh, this okay. is something that we've been asking people. Uh, who is the most famous person you met when you were younger? And they couldn't. It didn't necessarily have to be famous, but somebody where you were like, to, I famous met to you, so and so, Ernie like, and Astez or somebody like in that. the neighborhood or something. Was mm. there anybody, a sports player, a newscaster, <sighs> meet a Nick or a Yankee? I I met. Well, I guess like I went to this thing like Magic Johnson was like. At the NBA store, so that's my friends cool. took the bus and we went to the city and we met Magic Johnson. That's, that's not part, bad. That's all right. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good pretty one. good one. Yeah, yeah. I have a signed right. basketball somewhere in my mom's house by Magic Johnson. Really? Really waiting for him to keel over so I can <laughs> move <laughs> that <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's gonna be worth something one day. I was uh, waiting for you to be like my uncle had a Cadillac. It was pretty big. <laughs> <laughs> he was kind of known in the neighborhood. <laughs> I don't know that I ever like met someone like when I was super young that wasn't like that. Like that you go out of your way to meet, but like running into a celebrity, I don't think Like so. we were friends like my family was friends with like local like a local radio DJ and that was like the that was like the biggest thing. Like, oh so and so might be there type of thing. My dad knew a guy who owned a Hampton house. <laughs> <laughs> and I stayed there for a weekend and that was nice. <laughs> Watched Italy win the World Cup in that house. It was nice. Man. <laughs> That's the most New York Italian thing I ever heard in my life. Went You're, to the Hamptons to watch Italy play. Your parents <laughs> always had one friend that did really well. Usually they didn't have kids or anything like that. It was always fun going over there. And always yeah. always for me, it was uh, uh, <laughs> you only, only ever did house. those things once. It wasn't yeah, like sure. it was like we would go, the kids would cause a scene, and I'd be like, all right, they ain't coming yeah. back. Yeah, you, yeah, got yeah. Your, you got your one shot. Yeah, out. yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. My dad had a one of his commanders in the Navy had had like a like a real prosperous business outside of the Navy, but he was still in the Navy and he had this house down in like Cape May and down the shore or something like that. And he had like it was like on the water, he had a like a little boat and like took us out and all that stuff. Man, I think we were like smacking turtles in the water or yeah, something like that. Like, yeah. Never got invited back again. Yeah, I never the guy threw like the that. fishing rod in the water. I I was <laughs> I only got on a plane once when I was like like before the age of eighteen or nineteen, I, I one yeah, time same. went same. to Disney World, and I think I told you guys last time. Like my dad did a, like a construction go- job, and the guy paid him in Disney tickets. Oh yes, that's <laughs> yeah. right. That's, that's awesome. right. So that that's was like right. the vacation that we went on. Yeah, that's not a great vacation. <laughs> What'd you call your grandparents? Grandma, grandpa. Grandma, grandpa. Yeah. What do you What'd you call the remote middle. growing up? The remote. You you clicker or something? I like that? was never clicker. No, yeah. we were clicker. Some yeah. people say buttons and stuff, like pass me what? the buttons. It's tough. No, that's rough. Mash the buttons. Have you upgraded the um, the aftermarket amenities in the apartment in this in this new place? Like, do you got like an air purifier? Do you got like, uh, you know, what, what are you working with over there? Any you, kitchen appliances? Do you have an automatic pepper grinder? Air fryer? I do not. I do you not. Don't. I, I don't love that to be honest. I with don't you. love it either. I like to grind it. Yeah, I like to, I like to feel it. <laughs> I like to, I like to feel it because it makes you feel like I'm a chef. You yeah. know, like <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like yeah, that to right. me is like so much better than just like. Eh. I was like yeah. Fuck that. that you know? Go back to Feta the first time they ran out of the crumble. <laughs> go back to Feta. <laughs> I had to. I had to buy the brick. You know. Oh. And man, chopping that up, I felt like fucking Chef Ramsay, yeah, dude. Yeah. I was like, no one can tell me shit. <laughs> you have your fingers. And yeah. You're like, I know what I'm I, doing. I'm curled in, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> Yeah, Sound like an old woman in Sicily. <laughs> Growing up, did any of you guys have the the hand crank cheese grinder? Y- you know what, uh, I'm what? Like they have it like uh, Olive Garden? Uh, sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, think... but there's like a less fancy one. Yeah, I know. You never. I don't think that we had that, but I did have uh, the um. We ju- we just used a fucking like cheese grater, which yeah. that also makes me feel like a chef too. I'm just like you talking yeah. about the, all this cheese. I, I, just I, I, I did it the last triangle night. one. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the yeah. Tri- that thing's deadly, dude. Oh, you take Woo! your knuckles off. You're not I've done attention. that. Like but, the cheese slips, and you're like, oh, I just cut the whole fucking hand. But you know what's really nice? They have the one now the where it has stick. the handle. Yeah. And you, oh, I got that. Dude. Woo! You feel like Bobby Flay. Yeah. Oh. Let's go. Feel, it's just a stick. It's like a yeah. stick, like a, oh, dude. like a fork, but it's just the long. Fo- it looks like a big nail file. Oh my god, dude! And you, then you like tap it. You you feel it. You're like. <laughs> Good, yeah. I see the shit all in there. You're finishing. You're finishing the dish, which is very nice. Oh, that's the best thing. You you cook. You cooked a meal, and uh-huh. then you just you have some something yeah. on top that you can be like, here, just yeah, yeah, yeah. put a little bit a little of lemon zest some, or something. Or oh, like go. chives, whatever the fuck that is. It's a bowl <laughs> of mac and cheese. Nah, yeah, it's just my cereal. <laughs> I'm, I'm grinding cocoa puffs. 
<laughs> yeah. Just the dusting of the marshmallow. Yeah. I'm like that with cocktails now. I got really into cock like making cocktails uh in in the past like few months. So like I like would go out and like buy You have uh, a torch you own a torch? Like the No no no, I don't have a torch. Up. You got the big ice thing now to make the ice ball or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have oh, like a, a thing to well not that not the ice ball. I just have like the, the fucking Big like, cubes. Big cubes gotcha. like, in the in the fridge. But I also have like dried out fucking apricots le- or something. lemons and yeah, shit. Yeah, 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 and, like, yeah, yeah. Little fucking uh, cinnamon sticks and shit <laughs> like that. Brandy yeah. cherries and yeah, all that. Yeah, exactly. I like that. That's great when you want to drink in 48 minutes. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Dude, that's the word. You ever order? I'm like, oh, I get a Manhattan. They, dude, they bust out a torch. I'm leaving. Yeah. 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 I, I, you're at the house. You're making nice cocktails. How many of those do you make until it turns into just whiskey on ice? Not many. Yeah. Like, you, yeah. you're gonna, it's you make fun the, for the, you first, make the first one nice. The second one, you're a little, the second one, you're a little drunk. So you're like, oh, this is fun. I'm, the yeah. third one is just fucking out of the bottle. Yeah, it's like, I'm just literally going to have some whiskey, and that's yeah. pretty much it. I like making it for other people. You know, it's more of like an outward thing. It's more of a show-off thing. Sure. Where you're like, Are you entertaining? What do you need? <laughs> oh, yeah, no problem. Here. Sure. Are you entertaining I'm like lot? double straining shit that doesn't need to do. Double straining. <laughs> you know? A little strain grain of Parmesan it. on yeah. that for you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shit like that. Have yeah. you had people over the house yet? The new yeah, house? Yeah, like yeah. a housewarming party? Or was uh, it just yeah. like a couple people over? No, I, I had people over for like Memorial Day weekend. Okay. Because like, they, there's like a little courtyard. And it has like an like, awesome view, so you you can like rent out one of the uh, grills or whatever. Gotcha. So you so I had some people over and we like did. Did the, you grill? Did you man the grill? I did not. <laughs> oh man, you invited people over to work. That's who'd crazy. you have? Who who cooked? Uh, probably what, a famous what chef. <laughs> it was Bobby Flay, dude. It was Carbones. <laughs> Car- <laughs> it was Jimmy Carbones of Carbones fame. No, it was one of it was one of my friends. Like who, so, he did, did the cooking. Yeah, yeah. You did. You made the drinks and all that stuff. I you buy the all the stuff. Yeah, I, I I didn't buy all this. Like I tell people, like I'm gonna have stuff, um, but you could bring like whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Like, and, and usually I think that's like standard. Sure. Yeah, you can't have nothing. Be like BYOB. It's like this isn't a fucking. Yeah, you gotta have like, something. It's not with a you. fucking yeah, yeah, college yeah, house yeah, party, dude. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you have an apartment. Like, have some drinks. Here. Five bucks for a cup. <laughs> 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 Write your name on your cups. Yeah. It's like, and <laughs> this was all in the. This was all out in the common area. This wasn't in the apartment, was it? Uh, it started in the apartment and then it went down there. Okay. Anybody acting a, not a fool, but a little sloppy. Was with there the, any like, knock it the, off, I just moved in here. The coaster go. placements, anything uh, like that? Honestly, there wasn't, but I'm sure that if I was less drunk, I probably would have had complaints. You would have noticed things? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know. For the most part, like. Shoes off in the house? <laughs> yeah. Have everybody got to yeah. take their shoes not, off? Not all the time, but like definitely, like I'll encourage that. Like if we're sit- if we're gonna like watch the game or something at my house, I'd be like, all right, take the fucking shoes off. If you're having a bunch of people over, would you ever do a pre-mix cocktail, like a like a jug of mint juleps or that's something nice. like that? That's nice. That's real. Now my cousin does that I, every probably. Christmas. That's probably a smart thing to do. I haven't done that, but like. I don't know. Like, I, if I know that people are coming over, I'll ask them ahead of time, like, when they're, like, what 10 minutes drinking? out. Yeah. Like, what do you want? And then I'll have it Whoa, so that's, like, ready. 10 minutes out. Whoa, yeah. that's pretty good. So they get in there. You got the fucking oh, apricot, right dusted, whatever Exactly. Cooking. You got some time in there. You got a nice little That's whatever. not bad. Well, it's like I you have to time do to that. triple strain if you need to. <laughs> I could double, triple strain. I could do whatever. I could do an egg wash or something. <laughs> uh, You're not doing that, are you? good. No, no, no. <laughs> but, like, I, I'm also not the best food host so like i'm not putting- i picked up on that you made another guy grill <laughs> at your party dude that's great hey want to have a barbecue Every a man- real nice cocktail and some scoops yeah. <laughs> you guys Literally. bring the dip yeah someone else has got to handle like the charcuterie board or whatever <laughs> sure. but I, I can't be doing that my dad used to do that too growing up that's probably why because he'd be like oh you you want a hot dog i'd be like yeah he goes make me one too like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm not, i don't want it now <laughs> that's that's awesome <laughs> Uh, all right, let's get into some fucking uh, some Patreon questions, guys. When you know, uh, when you sign up for the Patreon, we'll answer your mm-hmm. garbage question on the air. Uh, we get a lot of submissions, but Patreon gets the first crack at it, baby. Uh, yes, sir. Let's see here. This one I've never thought of. This is from Kippy's denim jacket. Shout out to it. Uh, Ten dollar Discover card, homie. Are you garbage if you shower with your dog? Ooh, <laughs> that's nuts. But well, it's I well efficient. Well, it's efficient, but then. That's, I feel like you'd have to wash them, get them out, and then get back in to rinse off. Yeah, 100%. Because yeah. the dog's going to shake and get all that but shit then, all over you. But then if you just let him out, he's just shaking in the thing, and then the the bathroom's disgusting. That also might be a 
like a swimsuit job. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be you hanging can't, dong you can't. next to the Dalmatian. <laughs> like you can't do that. Get her. I never do, thought of that. Yeah. You can't be naked in that. Hanging brain. What if something yeah. happens? Yeah. yeah, you can't. You can't do that. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think it, I think it's like efficient. You can do it, especially like if you have a dog that's like bigger, because like if you can't put it in a sink. Where are you going to put it? Yeah. Sure. That's a real dog I mean, person right there, yeah, too, yeah. I'll tell you. They love their puppy dog. <laughs> I mean, we do it in the tub, but it's like, it's a thing. Yeah. You got to Take fight. baths with the dog? I don't take baths with oh, them, but like- You wash them in the tub. Yeah, but typically someone's got to get wet. in there. Someone's in the tub. Someone's out of the tub distracting with lunch meats. But kinda, hold on. Kind of <laughs> like kind of like how we bathe you from time to time. <laughs> Knew there was something going on. <laughs> Get tortorini out there. There you go. <laughs> Throw me tortorini. He'll do anything for a plate of tortorini. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you're standing in the tub. You're not like sitting down with yeah, him. No, All typically, right. the, typically the bird will get in there playing tummy sticks with yeah, him. No, yeah, no, she's like holding him, and yeah, it's a it's a two man job. Yeah, I got you. Anzi don't like the water, mm. uh, but I would never shower with him. That's fucking. I like that. That's bunk. It makes yeah. sense. It does I make guess. sense. I don't think my dog would like. Like showering and he'd be looking at you like, "What the fuck are we doing, <laughs> what, dude? What, what this is kid's this? weird." <laughs> hey, bro, your balls are dripping on me. Yeah, like, what the fuck is going on? What is that thing? First, he makes me a drink. Now I'm in the shower. Talks <laughs> <laughs> is going. Hey, pal, a little room for the shooter, huh? Back up. <laughs> uh, okay, you, this is from Glugger Champ 2000. Is it garbage to drink the beers that were left in the fridge when I moved into my new place? Yes. That's nuts. He that said it. Insane. He said he had a Google expiration dates on them. <laughs> if it goes bad. Oh, I was like, Google an expiration date. <laughs> Man. I've done that though. I've drank a lot of expired beer in my life, I feel like. I, yeah, I think that's what you would get at a young age and shit like special that. Special for Skunked. the special, by the way. Was, <laughs> yeah. All expired. Yeah. Uh that is insane though. I would never I would No, never do nothing. Like Anytime I move in, everything gets fucking if out, you get into goes. an Airbnb or something like that, and like they still have like the ketchup and the uh -oh. mayonnaise, and they're like, yeah, who's who's that? that? I'm that's not that. doing that. I don't trust people's shit. No. Even, even like growing up, going to my friends' houses and stuff, I'd be like, you got a ketchup in here from 2008. What are we doing <laughs> here? I can, I, can, I can look at a condiment bottle and be like, I ain't touching that. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's like my bomb, I'm like, dude, that there's too much crust. The lid's been yeah. open. Something's dude. wrong. Oh Get your God. act together. Yeah. Your ketchup just looks like it's like got its period or something. Mm -mm. It's like yeah. it's got it's just... Just like, bro, wipe this thing. You're an adult. Yeah, no Hot good. sauce is real bad. Hot sauce dries bad. Crust. A lot of times the lid stops closing and shit. You're like, fuck. <laughs> you got to shake the hot sauce up and see if everything falls down. If yeah, it doesn't, yeah. get out. Yeah, it's a tough look. <laughs> Run for your lives. Uh, <laughs> this seems like a very New York thing. Uh, this is from Felix. Uh, never had one read. Is it garbage to move furniture on public transportation? Yes. I've seen it a bunch. In this. I've seen people moving a love seat onto the A train yeah. and then not even sit in it. <laughs> like they stood there. I'm like, you're a fucking jerk off, dude. <laughs> I, I don't know that I like. I don't know. What, have you ever had to move anything crazy on the train? You ever had a mattress no. on top of the car? I definitely have had that. Yeah, I've had a mattress on top of the car. Um, I've never done that. Oh man, we always had access to a pickup truck. Like, I remember my the, parents the doing that. Company. My dad always had like a like a van or a truck. He had a work truck for so long. So anytime you were moving anything, just tossing yeah, in the back of sure. there. But then you got to, you know. Also, a pickup truck in New York is like, that's like one of the hottest commodities you can come across. A sure. car, let alone a pickup truck. Yeah, Fucking, man. that's all right. Uh, all right, let's see here. This one's from Kevin, longtime listener, first time caller. Is it garbage to know someone who's been on Dog the Bounty Hunter? Whoa, <laughs> that's Jesus worse than Jerry Christ. Springer for some reason. Yeah, for some reason. I don't know, but it's pretty worse. cool sitting down watching it together. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Dog the Bounty Hunter. Yeah. Man. He's just telling it like it's Wait, was he the bounty? I what don't know. It's, <laughs> either, it's, it's either that or a guy who was like, he went over there. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> way just, less cool. <laughs> either way, you're in a bad neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just picture an uncle showing a kid like, Wait, I zigged. I should have zagged right here is where he got me. That's where he got me. Yeah, is where he got me. I thought I had him here, but. You know. Dog doesn't go after white collar criminals. No. <laughs> he's watched the episode of guys going, no, I don't know Steve. And he's like, I did know Steve. <laughs> he was lying to him. Totally me. fooled him. Look at him. He was in my closet the whole time. <laughs> Had a smoke with him out front and everything. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, oh, all right, let's see. This is from DJ Knucklepuck. Are you garbage if you use the word the before a medical diagnosis? Like, <laughs> I got the lupus or I got the <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> sure, sure. I got the diarrhea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's something my dad does too. My dad For also, sure. like, can't, he doesn't know the name of anything. He called, like, I remember back in the day, like, Twitter was like a thing, and he was just like, 
calling it like what are you doing your twat whatever yeah, the fuck tweet, it is twat, like, that, that, that one, I was like you know what it's fucking called yeah. like you know what you're doing right now but that one was tough for that gener- that what? parents at Twitter Twitter because it was also Twitter and tweet Facebook was at least like Facebook I'm gonna Facebook we're on Facebook yeah, yeah. the Twitter and tweet really threw the, the, the grown ups to a I'm fucking I'm tweeting loop. on Twitter yeah, yeah really fucking jam them up <laughs> really jam them up yeah, and it's just too close to twat, so you know. Yeah. The diabetes, the Ozempics. You you you're big on the you started you've reached an age where you started putting S's on things, yeah. which is nuts. Yeah. <laughs> Carbones. Yeah. Carbones. Ozempics. Yeah. I was gonna ask you this is obviously really far away, but I thought about this on New Year. Is it Happy New Year's? No. Or Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I've been saying New Year's, my and everybody I know, Happy New Year's. Do you say Valentine's Day? Yeah, <laughs> Valentine's brutal. Day. That Valentine's is, Day. No, times, times. Some people say no, times. No. Valentine's. No, no, no. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, Valentine's. Dude, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, like, it's what Valentine's. are you talking about? It's like you can't read, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Please stop. Uh, My dad puts ER instead of A on words. So you say like Winder and Victoria. Over at the Winder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the fucking Winder. Soder. Yeah. Soder. That's what he does. Soder, yeah. yeah. It's like it's That's a Boston to say thing, that. too. Vodka, like vodka and tonic is Boston. They vodka do it. is insane. Yeah, vodka and tonic. That's why. I hate when drunk a vodka. I'm a drunk a vodka. <laughs> vodka tonic. Oh, vodka. I have a friend one time he ordered, let me get a Grey Goose and vodka. I was like, you're a fucking <laughs> 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 Bartender was just like, I don't even know how to make what you're, you're clearly saying. underage. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a CIA test. What, yeah. what, are, you, what are you grilling me for? Uh, Jameson and whiskey make it snappy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and can Jamie. I have it on the rocks with ice, please? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to wrap it up. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Joe Santagato uh-huh. of the Basement Yard Ooh. Podcast. Titan of the industry here with us today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having me. Always a good time. Thanks, Buddy, we brother. love you. Anything you want the folks out there to know? Anything else you got to hit them with? Uh, go to thebasementyard.com. We're going to be listing more uh, tour dates for the live shows and stuff. And uh, Oh, that's my camera. <laughs> and uh, You can go follow the show at The Basement Yard on wherever the fuck. Just type it in. You'll see it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you'll find it. There you go. <laughs> Kippy, what do you got for him? Uh, tickets are on sale right now. We're in New York City. We're doing Town Hall. We're getting ready to announce the rest of our tour dates for the spring and the summer. Uh, so hit the link in the description. If it's still there, let us know what cities we got to come to. We love yous. Gang, we love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.